Hello, fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel. Welcome to another episode of uh, Q&A. And this is, uh, my name is Wilfred, reporting directly from the test center, looking at various heroes uh, to let you see, have a look at what uh, will become of them. Uh, this, to, this evening, I'm going to look into a couple of heroes and, you know, it'll be multiple videos. Uh, some heroes are more or less like what they, where they are. Some he heroes actually worse than that. Um, you know, Angela is one, one of my favorite. I have been really concerned and worried whether she'll be as good as you know she is uh, in the in the live server today. So I, uh, you know, when I look into Angela, I saw like you know a bit nervous. Uh, but the good news is that um, she's just exactly the same, uh, exactly the same. All the powers that you have, uh, everything else. There's some slight tweaking here and there. But uh, if you are very vested into say a bleed area build physical. You are sorted. Um, nothing going to change in your gear strategy, nor the way that you play Angela. So it could be good news. Um, I've taken a look at the ribbons, uh, but I, I'll walk through with them. You know, walk through them with you in just a bit. So in today's format, I'm going to walk through the powers, her powers, her talent and trait, as well as just play a little bit through this uh, cosmic uh, time square, just to have a recap on where she is. All right, because some of you may or may not have seen how she plays like and yeah i mean i i'm, I'm actually rather pleased that she's still uh, where she is all right so now um she is a uh, well she has a ribbon she has the assassin the armory which is more like the melee kind of thing so a melee a ribbon the uh you know the melee by and large break down into two categories one is more for the single target another one is more for the area uh, i happen to be able to pick everything together with the ribbon as the uh, area but uh, i mean you can pick anything you you like i'll look into number later on and by the way if you like to uh, check out other you know videos on the heroes that uh, i've tested in the test center check out the link at the description below all right so now uh, without further ado a rending blade is a basic melee power um so you know if you if you need that then you have that or you can have the uh, I, I use a rolling raft which is an area kind of a spender so so that is the uh, area spender. Uh, this is a basic power. And there is another one that is, um, you know, this is the single spender, which is hunter's blade. So there are a couple of options that you could have, like uh, either rending blade, uh, whirling rough, or hunter's blade, uh, you know, depending on whether you are into area build or not area build, leveling or not, not leveling. Right? Then you have the rate of the C4s. Uh, that one is a five hit. I, I never like the you know, rooted there, do, do five hits or whatever number of hits there. But uh, if you like it, then it is the one, but it's not an area kind of build. I uh, know my name and weep. Uh, also, the uh, you know it's, it's just more of like a single target thingy. Uh, some like it, some don't. Uh, Iker's um, Wrath which is an area power, which is the one that I use. It has a brutal strike chance of 100%, so it's always brutal. Uh, so this is the one that I use over here. The uh, Then you have the Heaven's Fury, which is the area melee power, which is, of course, one of those that I like a lot. Um, you know, it, it helped me a lot with some of the harder content in the game because she is Angela and she is um, invulnerable while doing the thing that she does. So it's very really good. The uh, then the nothing for nothing. I you know I, I was really hoping that they um, they give us some options here in the talent to do something better with the uh, with the signature because you know Angela is sort of like you could die doing signature really. I mean all this animation and jumping around whatnot uh, when and all the nonsense is everywhere. You know where where to jump and so on. So I, I never like this power, but uh, unfortunately they are really sticking to what we have in the live server. So, um, you know, this is the one area that I really wish they have improved, but they didn't. Uh, on the ribbons, ribbon side, uh, you have the uh, ri uh, rhythm, uh, ribbon, which is a melee area power um, to apply the vulnerability, but there are other means to apply the vulnerability later, as you can see. Uh, heavenly charge is the, is the three charges, uh, like your nut is here to stay, I think. Uh, then you have the binding ribbon, uh, range area power, Mm, it has a weaken to it, so anything with all this tagging usually is not as good. I tried to see whether I could like uh, use something else, uh, except, you know, except the thing we have, but it's rather straightforward. There's some of this like a uh, power you can see that um, you know the, the 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 power range is just different because it's a melee attack versus the ranged attack. Then you have the hypnotic ribbon, uh, same as what live server is. I like it. I mean, you don't have to have it, but I like it because it confuses everybody around Angela, and it's always an, always nice to see. 
it's something sinister about it, right? You see an enemy just fighting and killing each other, um, you know, with a ribbon thingy. Uh, then you have the Angelic Smite, uh, which is one of my favorite power. It buff, uh, you know, ribbon power. Same as in the live server, really. Exactly the same. Uh, piercing Ribbon, uh, if you'd like to play a melee ribbon kind of thing. Well, yeah, that's another kind of like a spender. It's quite a lot of spender, actually, if you think about it, huh? Uh, you have the three over left side, left hand side, uh, assassin uh, armory. Then you have one over heavenly ribbon here. The uh, then you have the uh, stunning icon, which is a range power. So there's quite a lot of things like uh, a range and stun and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically this is the uh, Angela. Now onto the trait itself, she is a durability and speed. Uh, is it good or not? Well, it's great in the sense that it's not fighting and or energy because then you can pick the 5% crit, 5% brutal, you're sorted and anyway those durability nooks and uh, especially speed nook is not really that good. Uh, durability though because uh, she's an area power so area hero so I need to pick up quite a lot of infinity nooks on the area damage uh, good and bad because I, I would not be able to have the attribute but I mean you know um, you can buff the area for quite a fair bit so why not. Uh, the other one is that the uh, living ribbon same as what the live server is there's a ribbon that will hit nearby enemy every three seconds. The um, I don't know why this is still there I mean it doesn't really hit that hard anyhow but there are ways to buff it uh, as you will see just like in the live server. Angelic warrior she's a defense dodge hero uh, health on hit so it's a wonderful uh, wonderful kind of like a uh, trait she has. Now uh, let's take in take a look at the first tier of it. Uh, the first tier is a red thing, uh, red thing ribbon will slow enemies. So if you are using a red thing ribbon, which is this one here, that apply vulnerability, you can also apply slow. Uh, my only complaint is that slow doesn't affect enemies that matter, uh, like the uh, like the bosses. So. Why even have such a, a fix? I do not know. Uh, they should just remove it or put it to like something else, like chill or whatnot. Anyhow, mm. then you have a whirling wrath gain vulnerability against target ten percent. So this is the one that uh, you can gain. But then you have the vulnerability ten percent here already. So I think in a way they try to you know if if you have if you use this one with this one, they can use another power instead of the uh, uh, rethink ribbon. But then I. From an area build or point of view, I can't repick anything, can I? I mean, there's aren't any. That's why I, I was trying to explore any other uh, area like binding ribbons, but the DPS is just too low. Uh, then the third one is the rage of the C4s. So, uh, now cause enemies to bleed, uh, which is single target. You have to stand there and hit the five times. I uh, hope that you won't die on doing that. So I, I hate the first tier. It's just not good. None of them I want, but you know, maybe I just take this one. None of them is useful, it's as good as nothing, because I have the ribbon here, uh, but uh, I guess it can apply. I mean, this one has a rather limited uh, range, I think, in a sense, uh, ra uh, compared to the to the uh, whirling wrath itself, all right? Now, um, striking ribbon, uh, living ribbon gain the following effects and so on. So this is the, um, you know, it buff the living ribbon. Living ribbon is this one here, the tray, or you will say uh, ribbon power now cause enemy to bleed. Or you can have the angelic smite can activate a second time before the ribbon attack. So, and the uh, the angelic smite with twenty five percent more ribbon power now cause enemy to bleed. Uh, um, in in a sense, if uh, if you are looking at the bleed build, um, because your your angelic smite is already bleed. Uh, what else you want to bleed? Uh, that that matter. It seems like another duplication on the angelic smite anyway. If you, I think it's for those people who do not use angelic smite. So it's nothing really fantastic for me. Uh, the, this one also doesn't not not really that appetizing to me. It's a passive kind of like you know hits really it's that scratches. Anything that is not actively uh, you know uh, executing is just very low. So I guess uh, I mean I'll just take this one. Um, and Angelic smite damage plus twenty five percent. Activate a second time so you can leap a couple of times. Can be rather rather interesting. Uh, just hop around a bit. Cooldown of heavenly ribbon power are reduced by twenty five percent. Everything here the cooldown reduced by twenty five percent. Uh, then you have the um, or the okay so so hang on so this is the cooldown of heavenly ribbon reduced by 25% or the cooldown of assassins uh, armory reduced by 25% is either here 25% or there 25% but the problem I have is that well I have both sides so what do I do right uh, then you have the non damage over time heavenly ribbon power grant the next assassin armory power usage crit chance of whatever. 
Um, I guess in a way, if I if I toggle between the two of them, then I I probably need to take this one because if I take this one, it, it buffs some, it doesn't buff some. The other one, you know, likewise. Again, I mean, uh, is it interesting or not? I probably would not be able to observe anything out from this one. Um, I I don't know, man. It's just one of those things that I <laughs> never mind. Forget it. Uh, so you have the weeping ribbon. That's the the f uh, fourth tier. You have the weeping ribbon. Angela's ribbon become enraged, causing living ribbon to double the attack rate. Uh, so it's same as in the life server. The specialization against the ribbon, uh, apprehending ribbon, to grab the enemy onto you and the uh, protecting you from enemy attack. Refle reflecting three percent of incoming projectiles. Damage reduction ten percent. Now, I seriously, honestly, do not understand the text of this one. Uh, I mean, from an English point of view, I mean, I understand English. Sorry, I understand English, but just that uh, in the game mechanic, I have totally no idea how it works. Because even if I select uh, damage reduction, I mean, okay, if you look at my Angela, damage reduction is forty-four percent. If I select this one, do I get fifty-four percent? No, it doesn't. None of this stat being reflected by whatever here. Uh, does it mean that the three percent of the incoming projectiles are being reduced the damage by ten percent? So you hit, you know instead of uh, eating hundred percent of the incoming projectile, you eat ninety percent of it. I don't know. Maybe it is so because ten percent it seems that too good to be true. Either way, I think either one of them is just very very tiny. Whatever it is. Mm, all right. Last here, uh, sundering throw. Uh, the stunning icon become executed. Now this is interesting. I think out of the whole design of this trait right this talent right I, I think there's a lot of nonsense here I, mean, I don't think it's a good design but the last one is rather interesting because um, execute power is important uh, as a hero if your hero doesn't have execute usually it's not like you know that exciting in a sense so if you choose a stunning Iker then uh, then then you can use it as a Q then and I read here Iker's Wrath uh, execute Iker's Wrath is uh, Iker's Wrath is one of those I guess Ralph is here. So I was like, ah, you know, at least there's something that, um, you know, I have here. And, and the third one is, uh, you know, if I guess Ralph or Stunning Iker defeat the enemy, the cooldown of all other non-signature power and non-ultimate power are reset. So I'm picking this one. But check this out though. I mean, before I just sing all the praises, because it's all comparative, right? I mean, there are really lousy tiers somewhere on top. So something here seems interesting. But what if your build doesn't use Stunning Iker, nor use the uh, use the other one, the Iker's Wrath, then what do you get from it? You get nothing. Um, you get nothing, really. So the last tier forces you to at least pick one power here. Uh, build variety sometimes is, uh, is a luxury in this game, because, you know... It, it happens that whatever power that man, they mandate me to take that have to put it into the hot, hot bar, I like to use. But imagine if some of you don't like either one of the power. I do not know. It's one of those things, you know, you know in a new design. I, you know, some, sometimes I feel that uh, it's not really about the um, pure variety. Sometimes it's even less than before my, my only take. So one time, two time. So that is the, what it mean by the, uh, you know, um, the angelic smite that you can do it a couple of times. All right, so that's the thing. Nice. So I'm using a, by the way, I'm using a great AT legendary for Angela. So, you know, whatever you see here, just bear that in mind as well. Um, it, you know, it may change the way that, yeah. I mean, I don't have a great AT every, or a hero, but for those heroes that I kind of like, then, uh, then I have, uh, have it there. All right, so one, two, three. Alright, so that's done, sorted. Um, oh man. So yeah, I mean it's kind of nice to be able to uh, to be able to you know um, do two 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 angel smite at the same time. Now, but the only thing is that uh, wow, it's using a lot of um, spirit, huh? I think I've run into some kind of spirit issue here. I may run into some spirit issue. I do not know. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Um, wow, so I need to eat Mac Kid like crazy. She is a Mac Kid hero now. It wasn't like that in the uh, in, in the live server, of course. You know why? Because live server, I have something called the uh, strength. And the good thing about strength for Angela is that the um, uh, good thing about that is that uh, it has a cost reduction anyhow by gearing uh, correctly. Um, but now, again, you know, attribute is being nerfed down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have uh, much thing from that. You have to, you have to look into the, 
you know, the, the infinity system, the nodes itself, to get the uh, spirit reduction, uh, cost reduction anyhow. I'm stuck here, by the way, guys. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, fine. All right, Angela. I love her. But I'm ra rather get glad that, you know, she's, she's not that bad. I mean, you know, uh, where is my Deadpool? Oh, my Deadpool is over there. Okay, so that is done. And second time, always handy to have a second time. Let me do a hypnotic kind of thing. Uh, you guys just kill each other. Very nice. Yep, so it jumped two times. You see that, guys? It's nice, huh? Wow, I'm running out of spirit. Uh, by, I think this is like a Mackey hero. Uh, so I'm just need to go keep, keep, keep hitting Mackey. She become a Mackey hero. That's no good. Mm. No, I don't really like it. Um, anyhow. She needs some way to recover spirit, man. Seriously. Um, I don't know. Not that happy about it. Okay, I keep forgetting to, to use spirit. Uh, okay, so that is done. Uh, last one, I'll use the ultimate. Uh, just to show you how she's like. Uh, well, I mean, you know. One ability, what not. Yeah, done. <laughs> she's still doing her thing. Hey, Ultra is dead already. Nice. Yeah, so... Um, Wow, she's. Uh, she's I, think, I think, in a, in a sense, I will need to pay attention to the spirit cause. Where is the note? Uh, the gem is the intelligent, which is blue in color. You know, check out my, uh, my guide for you, the, the quick reference guide also. Uh, so now, I, I, think, um, I, I think in closing, which one is the blue color ones? The blue color ones, this one here. It's after a while you can get it. So instead of getting this one regen, I'll probably be putting all, all everything into spirit cost reduction. Uh, that way I think I'll still be able to uh, handle the spirit cost, man. Otherwise I can't really do it. Um, so my, my conclusion is that I'm happy that I don't need to change my gearing strategy and also my rotation and the way that I play Angela. The changes are very minimal, just Lip two time, that's it. That is the only change I have. Now, uh, the uh, I do not like the way that they design the 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 talents. I don't think it's a lot of like you know, I don't know innovation into it. Or well, I mean, I'm not looking for creativity here, but just the thing doesn't make sense. I think that like, oh, what kind of option do I get? I don't like A. I don't like B. I don't like C. What do I get out from it? So I think they should always design with the mind that there's a catch-all somewhere. Like you know, if A and B is not an option, then at least C is a viable option that people like. Um, they shouldn't be forced to, to pick up certain power that they, they do not like as well. So I I don't know. I mean, that's only my feedback on that. So this tier, like I you know, I struggle to even like you know, which one should I get out of the first tier kind of thing. So. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy and uh, there are more videos to come. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, let me know in the comment box below uh, how you like about the Angela, the, this video and what else you want to see and so on. I'll try my best to do more heroes but uh, I can't do everything at one shot as well. Then, uh, well, that's all from me. I'll see you next time. Check out the link below. Uh, there are more you know, heroes tested in the test center. Mm -hmm. I, I list them up for you guys, man. Bye.